The Rams fell to the San Francisco 49ers 34-13 in a regular season finale, but it really doesn't matter. They still held on to the number three seed in the NFC. They'll host the Atlanta Falcons next Saturday at the Coliseum in an NFC wildcard playoff game. This is Gary Klein. I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times. And Gary, really what the Rams are going to see next Saturday is something come full circle. The Atlanta Falcons came into the Coliseum last year routed the Rams. That's really how the Sean McVay era got underway. That was the game that ended the Jeff Fisher era in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Sean McVay comes in, first year coach, 31 years old, takes the worst, lowest scoring offense in the NFL and turns it into the NFL's highest scoring offense. So the Rams, despite what happened today in the regular season finale, doesn't matter what happened against the 49ers. Those players are rested and ready and they're ready for the Falcons. The Falcons feature Julio Jones. He's one of the best receivers in the NFL. We asked Trumaine Johnson after the game what it will be like to go against Julio and he says, hey, I'm one of the best corners, so bring it on. Gary, really, these guys are confident they're ready, and you cannot look at the score of Sunday's game because, frankly, it didn't matter with most of the starters on the bench. You know, the Rams finish 11-5. and five. They fall short of getting that 12-win season, but it's still their best year since 2004. And Sean McVay had a choice to make before this game. Do I rest my guys? Do I keep them rolling? He decided to hold out Jared Goff. He held out Todd Gurley. He held out Aaron Donald. They were all standing on the sideline in these white sweatsuits. They looked like... You know, they should have had signs on them that said, caution, do not touch. <laughs> so the Rams go into this game healthy. That was the main thing. They didn't care where they were seated. They just wanted to make sure they were in, in shape to play that first And Sean game. McVay looks rather genius for this because really what the Rams were playing for was the number three or number four seed. As it turns out, they get the number three seed. They're going to play on Saturday, so that means they wouldn't have a normal Tuesday off day. So these guys are going to go into this game with fresh legs, fully rested. It's a short week, and really... If you look at it, I think it's a disadvantage to the Falcons. They, they're on a short week. They've got to come across the country. This is an experienced group, obviously, with Coach Dan Quinn, mm -hmm. with Matt Ryan, the reigning you know, uh, MVP. But it's going to be tough on the Falcons. Mm -hmm. And if you look at Sunday's game, a couple things you have to note injury-wise. Troy Hill and Blake Countess, they're being evaluated for concussions. Now, Kevin Peterson did step in at cornerback, but that could be an area of concern if perhaps Troy Hill's not available to come back against the Falcons, except for Kevin Peterson stepped in and he had two interceptions against Jimmy Garoppolo. Peterson played really well, especially for a guy that, remember, earlier in the season steps in and Kirk Cousins burns him for a game-winning touchdown. But if you're Sean McVay, if you're Wade Phillips, I know you have confidence in these guys. You do not want to go against Matt Ryan with Kevin Peterson necessarily as your starting cornerback. So they're going to have to do some work and hope that some of those guys get back. So the Rams end the regular season with 11 wins. They'll make their first playoff appearance next Saturday since 2004. Of course, Gary and I will be there. In the meantime, we're going to run out of here and sing Happy New Year <laughs> 2018. We'll see you this week, this week from Thousand Oaks.